Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I want to talk about Dungeons & Dragons 5e. This is a book review of the campaign setting Eberron Rising from the Last War for Dungeons & Dragons 5e. The cover art is confusing given the topic of the book. The alternative cover art is vastly superior but none of it gives a clear overall vision of the Eberron setting. The interior artwork is a mixed bag of excellent and dull depictions. There seems to be a few large art pieces and there's a lot of reprints and recycled art from Dungeons and Dragons 4e and their source book. This campaign setting book is enormous at 320 pages of comprehensive world material but it's not really well organised. The playable races are awesome and not your standard stuff from the player's handbook. The most unique are the Changeling, the Shifters and the Warforged. The monster playable races are still very good such as the Bugbear, the Goblin, the Hobgoblin and the Orc, with the Kalishtar being an odd creation. Dragon marks are magical tattoo symbols that are race variants connected to specific races and classes. Dragon marks favour the spellcasting classes. This sets the Eberron races and houses apart from any other setting. Most are very good. The new Aberrant Dragon Mark feat is mechanically strong if you have a spellcaster, but makes absolutely no sense. The new House Agent background is very good for the Eberron setting, and the House Connections feature is going to get plenty of use. The problem is I think the Agent background could have done the same job. The Artificer is the only class with subclasses added to the Eberron setting, which is fine if it makes sense, was complete, and was unique to that world. Unfortunately, the Artificer has been updated in Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, so this book has old information in it. The Artificer officially got rolled out by Wizards of the Coast as not being setting specific to Eberron, shortly after the book's release. If Dungeon Masters want players to make magical items, or players want to make magical items, this is the class for you. Most of the class features don't stand up to other classes. The group patrons are a magnificent tool to give all the party members a story goal. That's if the Dungeon Master can convince all their players to select one patron, or create just one patron for the campaign. The Corvair Gazetta and the City of Tau's Shan section is very comprehensive. The adventure building section for Eberron has a lot of tools presented in a poorly formatted layout that makes it very hard to use. There is one adventure provided in this campaign setting, Forgotten Relics. It's very short, it only covers characters level from 1 to 2, Forgotten Relics has a negotiation focus with a lot of non-player characters information included that is more suitable for intermediate and experienced dungeon masters. The maps are simple, clear, blue, black and white from Dyson logos. They're not going to appeal to everyone. These maps are easy to copy, but they are not going to be great on a virtual tabletop. The Dragon Shards are a clever concept that makes Shan unique and help builds the technology of the world. The magic items are a collection of unusual common and rare creations with a wide range of beneficial features. Many of the wondrous items augment the warforged or are cursed relics. The beastery or friends and foes section is underwhelming with dull monsters. The warforged and the war titan are the only outstanding creatures unfortunately. There is a full colour double sided poster map of Eberron included in the back of the book. There is no index in this book and this campaign setting book needed it desperately. This book overall has all of the Eberron tools for players and dungeon masters but it's not formatted very well. The layout needs to be improved. There are passages of text that aren't written very well and it feels like designers tried to cram everything into this book without considering the information being accessed or referenced. Experienced homebrew dungeon masters might be able to use this book. 
Now, if you wanted more detail on Eberron rising from the last war, I have a live stream that goes into far more detail if you are interested. If you like my content, I have hundreds of videos for players and dungeon masters that cover every aspect of Dungeons and Dragons and Dungeons and Dragons 5e. If you want to support the channel, you can through Patreon, the Amazon affiliate links down in the description, the merchandise shelf underneath all of my videos, or just watch my videos. Do all the usual YouTube things like share, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell button to be notified when I go live, and I go live every week, and when I publish new videos, which I do as well. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.